Hey gang, this is Powerbricks back with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lion Sentai Leo Kaiser and this is the Leo King, the Megazord. Now, before I start, I would like to say I'm sorry for the hiatus. I've been out for a little bit working and I've been busy with that comic book. In case you guys didn't know, for those who don't know, I've been busy with my comic book series. Uh, the link is in the description below if you want to go check it out. All right, and I'm also on TikTok. You can catch me on there dropping a lot of art some of you guys have already found me on there which is awesome but um yeah also i'm gonna get more consistent with these megazords because i also built a lot i have some really really cool stuff to show you guys and i have some really cool ideas that i'm going to be building very soon so why not show you what you guys have been wanting the most and that's this i was going to save it for last but i built something even better so i'm going to give you guys what you want and that is the dx leo king and here he is with the bad boy himself the cat voyager and it's really cool or the leo voyager i would like to call it i call it the cat voyager for some reason because it's little but the leo voyager if you want to call it it's really cool and let's take a look at the Rangers, and then we'll get into the Megazords. All right. We're going to take a look at this little blueprint art, but there's some really cool stuff on here. So the first thing I want to show you is the uh, Leo Changer. This is the Morpher right here. What you see is there's a handle, and if you click down on it and press your Ranger color, then you're going to transform. It is saying, you click the um, button to activate, pull the lever, transform, and then it says Leo Change. And then, you know, it have the name right there. Like it says red, it will say blue, yellow, green, or pink. This is a little sketch. Here's a sketch of the lion when I first thought of it. And the uh, Leo Voyager, the shield and the sword and all that. You're going to see how this works. It's really cool. Um, the morpher can also turn into a gun. So you can pull the lever out, which is on the grip on the side of the morpher. And wham, there's a gun. And... You can pull the trigger, and there's gears in there that make it rotate and everything. So, pretty dope, right? Yeah, I think so. Nifty. Let's look at those Rangers. beautiful Rangers. And we have the Red Ranger right here. This is Leo Red, and he is awesome. I freaking love this Red Ranger. Really, really cool. We also have Leo Blue back there just chilling in the back. We got Leo Green with the, um, the Fang Saber. Freaking awesome. Uh, we have Leo Pink back there, and here's beautiful Leo Yellow, one of my favorites. I love this one. She's a tough girl. Really awesome team. I just love these guys. Just these five. No sixth ranger. Keeping it old school. Five. And these guys are going to do the job, okay? They have that line, and they're going to take down everything. This is like Voltron-esque. They don't need no sixth ranger. This is really cool, though, you know? They have everything going on. And it's just overall a really cool thing. And they're more for... Uh, it turns gold on the side. Sort of like a summoner. Not even a morpher. It's like they blow into it. And um, it calls the lion. It's like a thing in sync. I don't know. Maybe their swords could do it. Who knows? You guys be the judge. But these are the rangers. Let's get into the rest. I've wasted a minute of your time. Wow. First, we are taking a look at the Leo Voyager. And this right here is the big ship that they all live in. Now, I'm going to take it off. But it's a huge giant ship that flies around and they all live in this thing right here. And the lion is inside of a cave in a mountain. So that's what happens when they call the lion. But it's this huge giant ship and they fly around in it. And you see it has five colors. There's red, blue, yellow, green, and pink. I mean, yeah. So yeah, green and pink. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Dope. It is articulated. So, oops. You can move stuff around. You know, you can uh, adjust speed mode. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But I put some pretty cool stuff on there so I can have some fun with this thing. Okay. But that's pretty much it for this. Has some nice fangs. If you want to take a look at that. Nice gold fangs. Uh, I guess this is the cockpit right here. And this is like a giant headlight. And it's green. It's very colorful. Here's the one. The only dx leo king now this guy is massive this is a giant freaking cat now this is a large large zord um its tail is huge it's just really cool you have this long tail here look at let's just zoom in guys you guys gotta see this man this tail is just awesome like you got this long blade and it's just gold i mean look at that you got this gold all over the place 
It's the really big Zora. It reminds you of the white tiger, but a lot different. Beautiful. So let's take a look at his articulation. His head is on a ball joint. It can go 360. Okay, his mouth. Oh, where did that come from? All right, here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But his mouth can open and close. He has some nice, beautiful fangs there. If we get it to focus. There we go. We got some nice fangs there on the face. Really, really nice. Going on there, we got some nice claws. Indeed, the gold, it is articulated. All this articulation, he's on a ratchet joint, so he can do a lot more. So he can do a lot more. Really cool. I think this sword is awesome. Same thing on this side, ratchet joint, and there is a slight movement there. The same on here, you get all that movement with the ball joint, the claws are articulated, which is awesome. Um, the little main pieces, they can open and close a little bit. They can like be expressive. This one up here is on a very tight hinge. I mean, it's like super tight, so I have to pull it with two fingers, but there it is. It can open up and we can also close it up. Hopefully none of these pops off, but I don't think they will. But you know me, I'm always popping something off. So that one was already trying to... All right, there we go. But yeah, there is that, okay? There is leg articulation for the lion mode. You get all that. The legs can extend out. You do have foot articulation there. Nice little foots. The tail is on a bunch of ball joints. This long, sharp sole there. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. <laughs> but it's freaking awesome. There is a waist articulation. There is movement there. It is pretty nice. So, overall, this Zord, great. Let's take a look Before at the transform this thing, I have to show you guys the alternate mode. So, I'm going to take off these wings here. Ugh. Off these ball joints and they plug in right here all sound is smooth like so bring those down just a little bit okay and here is our king leo with wings let's take a closer look here he is with his wings and what do you guys think i think he looks awesome he can, he's a giant cat that can fly around with wings uh, if you ask me it fits just look at that the symmetrical colors of the blue and the yellow that just it's awesome and then you turn it around and there's that pink and green it's very symmetrical it just fits like you got this red and it's very rainbow i love this zord Okay, let's get it transformed, shall we? So first we're gonna take off the wings. Uh, come on off. Take off these wings. Right? Then extend the legs, rotate. Rotate this all the way around. Extend the legs, rotate. Move all the way around. Then Put the torso down. You see how I did that? Okay, it goes just like that. All right. Then we're gonna get the arms and we're gonna just sort of fix them into position. You see how his body is already transformed into a humanoid figure. Now look, I'm gonna take off this tail piece, this right here. Then I'm gonna get the tail rotated around and rotate this around, oops, without popping it off like I usually do. I'll be able to plug that in right there, bam, and it's gonna fit snug, it's not gonna come off, okay? That's how you hide the tail. I'm giving you guys freebies here. You can learn from this, okay? So, now I think I need to raise my camera, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so next, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these wing pieces and I'm gonna just plug them onto the back of this Megazord like so. Same here, actually it should be like that. There should be one gap open. Plug it in like so. These are the wings of the robot. Then we're gonna get this. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna move you to the side actually, buddy, so I can do this. Alrighty. So this is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna fold these up, get this, fold it all the way around, sandwich that in, there's the head. Woo-hoo-wee! There is the head. Now, look at those huge ears. It's like rabbit cat ears, I don't know. <laughs> it's cool. anyway, let's plug this on. There's the head, ooh. There's the head. Now, we get the sword and we plug it in. And we can close these fingers to make it look like he's gripping something, but he's really not. But it's really cool though. So here is the DX Leo King, fully merged up in his Megazord mode. It looks freaking awesome. I love this sword so much. This sword is fantastic. It is a great build now. It is extremely poseable. Now let me show you what it can do. First, let's just uh, do something with the sword. Let's get him in a pose. I'll show you guys how poseable this guy really is. So if you get him in a pose, bam. Let's get two fingers up like a samurai. Uh, something like this. Yeah. Get him in one of these. Or we could... We could, we could lower it a little more. Get a little more. Hoo-wee. We do it like that. Get him with the sword, man. And this is awesome. Have him with the sword like this. With the hand open. Oh, yeah. He's posable, man. He could do a lot of poses. He could fly around. This is like the ultimate Zord. This thing. When it comes to uh, transforming lions, this is awesome. It doesn't get no better than this when it comes to Lego. You are the opponent. I will slush you. Oh, where did that come from? Hold on. <laughs> where did that come from? Okay. Uh. Aha, I see, I see, I see. Bam, okay, back in action. Here's the Zord. Now, let me show you something really cool. So if you take off the wings, which I think probably looks better because this is how it's really supposed to look without the wings, and it looks even better to me. Way better, it looks like a true fighter. Now, let me show you. These wing pieces actually become the shield. Now, the way this works is you get the hand, Close it up, make a fist, right? Or you can open it up, it doesn't matter. But you just plug these in right here. And there's your shield. Sword and shield initiated. DX Leo King battle mode. Something, something, raw. <laughs> but yeah guys there it is this is the Megazord look at that sword it is fully merged up yeah he's still standing he didn't even care this guy will stand I'm gonna uh, pivot his waist just a little bit so you guys can see but this is the Megazord guys the DX Lil King I know you guys have been waiting for this one it is freaking awesome I cannot wait to show you guys I am truly hyped um I do have an Ultra Zord coming up for the next, not the next one. Um, the next one is actually going to be something else, superhero themed. I can't wait to show you guys that. And they also fly these really cool futuristic jets. And it's a jet theme. So look forward to that. This is pretty much the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I love making it. And this is Power Bricks signing off. Peace.